Yes, well, if you've ever been to a black tie event, maybe a cocktail reception, chances are you have worn one of our next designer's beautiful evening gowns. Please welcome Miss Kay Unger. It is such a delight to see you. Literally, it is the day of fashion royalty here at the broadcast. This one oh. can barely handle it. I know. You're going to be there tonight and the MC yes, so and wearing two different outfits. Exactly. I'm pretty impressed. You, so you were in town um, for Fashion Group International um, yes. alongside Billy Reed. Y'all are both being awarded tonight. And yeah, I'll be emceeing that event. So we're so excited you're in Dallas. I think it's fun. I love coming back. Can we just talk about this yeah, for a I second? Know. I, I you know, And your designs <laughs> are your designs are so, you really design for women, for women of all body types. Because all body types. They're so flattering. Every, every dress I've well, ever tried on of yours. I'm a foodie. I love to eat. Thank I'm not God. saying I'm going to eat the McRib, I might lick the sauce <laughs> off, but I really love to eat. In fact, I have a serious problem because I'm addicted to mini bars, and here I am at this big, fabulous hotel. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> So my clothing, I always say, my folds cover your folds. So I have folds. You do a lot of ruching, a lot of right you because know. you girls look amazing, but flat dresses are the hardest to wear. Yes. And so anything that covers that is great. And we have some pictures of some of your current collection. Is every year when you are designing, what what do you look to for inspiration when it comes to color palettes or shapes or is it is it women? I'm, is it culture? Is it art? I like art a lot. I love looking at art, but I always look at my customers. And I've what always, are they asking and I, for? What are they asking for and how not to um, leave them. They're really loyal and I have their, their mothers, the daughters, whatever it is. And so I look at the body shapes, I go into the dressing rooms and I deal with so many people now especially now that I'm more out in the industry yes. doing not-for-profit and chairman of the Board of Parsons. Yes. I meet the moms, the, the parents, the kids, etc. And what a lot of people don't know about you is you're involved in so many other projects just than running your own fashion empire. I mean, of course, that's a big piece of it, but you um, also are a part of Parsons. Tell me about yes. that, which is well, the huge fashion design school in New York. It's fantastic. And part of the, of the new school, which is a wonderful university, really is the umbrella for Parsons. So I now just became the chair of the first First, uh, Parsons alum who's the chairman of the board of Parsons. Congratulations. Which is, that's wow. very cool. It's a whole new thing. I feel like I'm back in college and I'm a trustee of the new school. So I have this amazing opportunity to sort of re educate myself and help kids. And also, I raise a lot of money for scholarships. I love making a difference and changing people's lives and doing projects for kids who can't afford things or are talented in the arts and nobody, you know, can appreciate them. And that really helps a lot. So I love it. And working with young designers, I would say, and Billy and I were talking. Billy Reed and I were talking about this today that, you know, I would say almost 100% of everybody I've hired through the years was my intern first. I said it's like living together before you get married, only it's a little more reliable. Do you, what do you tell the young designers now, now that you work so them? closely with? If they want to be in this business that is a cutthroat business, let's be honest. Well, I tell them, like I was telling you, when you watch Project Runway, it is so true. I get anxiety uh, watching Project I Runway. I can't watch it too often except to check in on my friend Tim Gunn. But it is 24-7. And what, they, what I try and tell them is not everybody's going to be a designer. That's a very small percent. It's not that I'm the most talented. It's probably that I was the most hardworking. And there's so many other parts of a fashion business that are important. You can sell it. You can be, you know, you can be the production manager. You can be a stylist. All these yeah. other jobs are so key. And what you have to do is kind of get a reading on what is your DNA? What is your fashion DNA? Well, like, what is your niche? Because, like, you definitely have a niche market, a niche customer, and, and you do it, and you do it darn well. And so would you tell them, find what you're really good at and stick well, to it? Well, it's interesting. When I graduated Parsons, um, you know, one of the design groups in the market at that time that's not even around anymore, they looked at my portfolio and they said, you're the most amazing dress designer stick with dresses. Now, for years, when people said, what's a dress? What's a daytime dress? I said, it's the thing hanging on the uh, sale rack. But for so many years of sportswear. But I had a flair. I grew up in the 60s, very mad men, and I stuck to it because that was my upbringing. And fitting a dress is very difficult. I knew how to do that. You know, I know what makes it work, you know, what gets rid of that bump in the zipper in the mm -hmm. back or what you should wear if you need a two-piece. So, and I think it's just also to these kids, 
there's so many other ways to do things today. There's Kickstarter. There's so many ways to start your own business, but you don't have to. I think go out there, work, work hard for somebody else, work in, on somebody else's money, and learn. <laughs> yeah, really. And make your mistakes then that way. Make your mistakes, and believe me, I only did that for a while before I started my own business. But you just have to stick with who you are and be open to learn. But don't go design something that you wouldn't wear or that you don't understand. And most of all, don't make something that there's no customer for. Right. And respect your 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 customers. I feel like I, we see that a lot on on in some of the runway shows of like you know the real high end designers. You look at it and go, who's yeah, yeah, gonna, like, who's wear, gonna wear, that? wear that? Well, some of that is to show their art. They really don't end up producing that, right. but um, they make enough different things that real people can wear they wouldn't stay in business well and you certainly do that and you do that incredibly well obviously with your incredible success and, and congratulations on your involvement with Parsons and also well, the, the fashion K group international yes and fashion group international you're being awarded tonight and obviously also the um, K Unger Family Foundation which well, you're really thanks. involved in philanthropically and so we appreciate you that's being the here. most fun thing to do Aww. is to give back and I think I'd like to use this as an example for people who have done well all their life stop and maybe do something else and give back. And my kids help me, they're terrific. And um, Fashion Group International, really to be honored tonight at the Night of Stars. When I was president of Fashion Group over 20 years ago, our Night of Stars, we put a show on Broadway and we gave Elvin Lutter first $250,000 to start her breast cancer wow. Uh, research. Wow, wow. So they all raised so tons much of involved. money. And so thank you for being in Dallas. I love and when superstars later. like you come in <laughs> Dallas. Okay, once again, Kay Unger and Billy Reed, who you saw in our first hour, will both be honored at tonight's Fashion Group International Night of Stars event, which I will be emceeing. So I get to see you tonight. I'm so excited. For more information, um, if you want to come to the big fun party tonight, just head to the broadcasttv.com and click on today's links. Okay, tis the season for recipes you can put together quickly, correct? Yes, yes. we have a tasty one in honor of, get this, homemade bread day. Are you ready for smoked bacon and Gouda cheese drop biscuits? Y'all, I know I am. But for